Now let's do the same thing with subtraction. Here are some statements expressed in English and we're going to write equivalent statements mathematically. A minus B. This one's pretty easy. We just write A minus B. That's how you write that mathematically. 6 less than X. Be careful here. 6 less than X. That means we start with X and we take 6 away from that to have 6 less than X. So this would be written as X minus 6. K decreased by 3. That's pretty straightforward. K and then we subtract 3. That's K decreased by 3. The difference of A and 20 Difference is equivalent mathematically to subtraction. The difference of a and 20 would be a minus 20. Now there's an important point to make here. Addition is commutative. That means the order doesn't matter. a plus b is the same as b plus a. And that's true for any numbers a and b. a is some number and b is some number. And when we add them together, we get a result. And it doesn't matter if we add a plus b or b plus a. The order doesn't matter. That's what we mean when we say that addition is commutative. Subtraction though is not commutative. a minus b is not equal to b minus a. So the order does matter when you're subtracting. So you have to be very careful when you're taking a statement that involves subtraction and translating it from English into an equivalent mathematical expression. 3 less than a, for example. You have to write that as a minus 3. And you can see what we're doing here. We're, we're, we have a is some number, and then we're subtracting 3 from it so that we have 3 less. And that gives us 3 less than a. So this is the proper mathematical translation of this. If I had a less than 3, that would be this, where there's 3 and then to have a less than that, and remember a is some number, could be any number, we don't know what number it is, but it's a number. And we have that many less than 3, so it's 3 minus that, 3 minus a. a minus 3 and 3 minus a are not the same thing. 3 less than a gives me that, and a less than 3 gives me that.